Right folks, how are we all? What's the date? 14th of March, 14th of March. Uh, and the other day I popped into Audi in Loughborough, the one near B&Q. If you live in the Loughborough area, you'll know it. You'll know it, that you will. Uh, this, welcome to the garage, this is another garage. Um, this is the old garage that won't be the old garage, whatever. The other garage will be the new garage. Um, so, what it was, I was walking around Aldi and uh, I seen these beers. That one, right? Yeah, there you go. There's the thumbnail, thumbnail, thumb title. I'll take my glasses off because then I could, because you get this glow thing in your glasses, don't you? And it makes you look like that. But there's the glass. There we go. There's the beer. Someone's walking around. How do you do this thing, don't they? Where it says new, new. Yeah, new. And you say, you think, oh, that's new. I'll review that. I'll review that because it's a beer. It's a it took me ages to get it. It kept running away. Fucking Italian beers kept running away. So uh, I thought I'll get that. I'll review it. I'll be there with all the beer tubers, you know, doing it all, getting in there, being part of the gang, being in the part of the beer community that apparently there is. Don't fucking know now. Um, don't care. Don't care really. So anyway, I thought I'll get that, and then I thought if you've seen my beer reviews lately. Uh, what I normally do is I normally go on to YouTube and to help and promote other beer channels and other channels because that's what I like to do. YouTube's for everybody. Yeah. I thought I'll have a look, see who else has reviewed it. And I thought there'll be just one or two and that. And yeah, I'll, I'll be in there, I'll be with them. Anyway, turns out it's not new. It's probably new this year. Right? So I had a look. Simon. All right, Simon. Real Ale Craft Beer. Yeah. I used to call him Real Ale Daft Beer. But now, me, Simon and Scott, we're all good. So, and I bet you see it there, you're laughing, aren't you, Simon? Yeah, you did used to call me Real Daft Beer. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, Simon reviewed it one year ago. 18k views he's had on that. Well done, Simon. Uh, the Beer Monster. Um, he did it one year ago. Dean's Beer Reviews. One year ago. Andy's beers reviews. One year ago. Somebody has done it. Express. Oh no. Ahoy. He did it 11 years ago. So. Simon did it three months ago. When he did a triple. Uh, three way doodah. Uh. I've had worse. He did it 11 months ago. I like I've had worse. He's good. Go and watch him. He's good. But go and watch them all. Go and watch them all. Spread the love. Yeah? Spread the love. Uh, and Raggy, he did it five months ago. So. So. There you go. So I'm going to do it now. Hold on, let's just read a bit about the bottle. It's got a nice little bottle top thing here. You can't see that because it's too dark. Right. Uh, know your limits. 14 units a week. Uh, right then. If you're not... Uh, uh, right. It says... Open the bottle and retreat. Sounds about right for the eye ties, doesn't it? Run away. Got a good one, one and a half, one finger head. Smells like a beer. Oh, do we know what it is? Malto da Orzo, 100% Italiano. There you go, speak Italian. Do we know? 
5.99% in a 660 milliliter bottle. To be drank with spaghetti bolognese, apparently. Especially if your mother's got a moustache. Smells like a lager. It don't smell too bad, to be fair. Let's dive in or tuck in or whatever I do. I can't remember what I say. Let's go for it. ain't too bad to be fair that ain't too bad at all it's not the Ferrari of beers or the Lamborghini of beers it's got a bit of dryness to it it's not as good as Madri Madri is the best drink in the world ain't that right Scott Got a good fist of head. That has now, isn't it? Do you know what? That ain't too bad. And when you buy stuff from Audi, it's going to be cheaper, isn't it, all the while? All the while. All day, every day, it's cheaper at Audi than Lidl. Audi and Lidl. Hold on. I've got something in my eye. That ain't too bad. I tell you what, if I went to Aldi again, which I probably will do. Just see if I can turn around and get you a bit closer. There you go. You're sitting on top of me lockers at the moment. Oh, Fitville shoes. I've had some. I've had a brand deal with Fitville. Yeah. Um, go and check that video out. If you've got fat feet, yeah wide feet like me so i've got like a size 13 sometimes it's a size 14 all depends where it's made um and you've got wide feet fitville are there and if you go on there and use the code bvm28 you get 28 percent off on your video on your on your shoes so oh fucking hell. talking of feet did you see Diane Abbott the other day? Like somebody's had a go at her, and you know it's it, it weren't the best of comments, were it? And um, she wanted to have her say in the Houses of Parliament or the House of Commons or whatever that fucking lunatic asylum is, where they all fucking shout and scream like a load of fucking stupid kids. And uh, she kept like standing up, like and everybody thought she was going to get her, her voice heard. Uh, but like they're all having to go at that Lindsay Oi. He's another prick, isn't he? Lindsay Oi, fucking northern twat. And um, uh, well, you can't say that. Yeah, I can. I've just fucking said it. And they're all saying, oh, he, he's ignored Diane Abbott. And they're all, they're all there. The other fucking MPs are all standing up and down like this, isn't there? And it's like that fucking game you get when you go, you, you take your kid to the fair, and you got those things that you whack a mole. That's it. That's what MPs are like. And you should be able to do that, right? You should have a, in the House of Law, uh, House, like House of Lords, that's another one, House of Commons, right? When these MPs stand up, you should be able to have a big hammer, like Kenny Everett used to do. And when they, when you get to hit one, they get to ask their question. Shouldn't be a list. Because, right, they're all going, oh, Lindsay, oh, he was being racist and sexist and misogynist and all that fucking, no, he fucking weren't. You get a list. You get a list and you have to follow the protocol of the list. Unless Keir Starmer's bullying you. And making you do things yeah and anyway, that's what they should do they should sack the list yeah sack the fucking list and they should have a big hammer and every time like one of them wants to ask a question it's like rmp jay nunt right yeah it rhymes with it don't it yeah when she stands up you can whack her on the head and then say there you go jane you can answer you ask your question yeah it'd be fucking brilliant would it put that yeah let's have a let's do one of those stupid um petitions they say, I think you should have big whack-a-mole 
in a uh, Wacken MP on the head. No death, no pain, no nothing like that. Just whack them with an hammer. And when you whack them, you can ask them, you can ask the question. That'd be fucking brilliant. I'd pay for that. But yeah, fucking hit that. Um, who's a fucking useless MP? They're all useless at the moment, aren't they? Back to the beer review. You knew I had a second one, didn't you? You bloody knew it. In fact, that's a better that's a better profile picture, isn't it? That's a good one, that. So that's six percent beer, and it does taste a bit like six percent beer. It's got a nice body to it. It's got a bit of fizz. It's also got a. It is dry lager. I think it's dry. I've not watched the other ones, but you could quite easily sit there eating Italian ice cream, watching the Italian job. eating carbonara or lasagna or watching Manchester City is he is Pep Guardioli Italian I think he is isn't he no yeah he's Spanish isn't he that's right Pep don't know don't really matter does it fucking Man City how's that work right Man City have had all these fucking charges brought against them for breaking the rules yeah yet Leicester yeah who didn't buy anybody that's the reason why they went down because they've fucking didn't buy anybody because they were trying to play with the fucking rules we come well hopefully touch wood yeah Leicester can come back up yeah and we get fucking on about the, 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 we're gonna get bloody points deducted how the fuck is that fair hey fucking you I hate football I'm 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 done with it fucking done with it it's shit people just you turn up you pay all that money I mean you want to be in the Premier League don't you you want to be in the Premier League uh, because it's the best league, yeah, and you want to play at the highest standard that you can, yeah. Um, even in women's football, women's football, fucking hell, I'm watching that on bloody TikTok or something the other day. Fucking unbelievable. Just, I mean, fair play to them if they want to play it, then play it. But fucking hell. And who's this other one you see in the, who's on bloody Facebook all the while now? That little bloke with the deformed head. And he just hangs around the goal and he's like shooting and like when he scores he's running around going Ooh. and he's doing this and then he's doing like forward rolls people are laughing at him they're not laughing with him mind you he seems to be making a bit of money out of it so if he is fair play to the lad um yeah but how is that fair that man city can do all that and then nothing seems to happen even everton right even everton are getting fucking battered I mean, all right, they had a couple of points given back, but it's fucking amazing, isn't it? This is a very nice beer. What I'm going to do, I'm going to sack this, no, not sack it, but end this video. It sounds like June's rustling the plates. Tell you what. As it's an Italian job, let's have a couple of Italian jokes. What do you call an Italian without hands? Mute. What do you call an Italian with a broken arm? Speech impaired. Why do most Italian men name Tony? When they got on the boat to America, they stamped T O N Y to New York. On their foreheads. How does every Italian joke start? By looking over your shoulder. 
Why did the Mafia cross the road? Forget about it. They weren't that good, were they? It's like the old uh, art by a load of rifles off the Italian army. Never been fired, something like that. Anyway, folks, if you're in Alda, you see that, give it a go. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Probably one of the better things to come out of Italy. Yeah, but uh, there you go. All right, folks, laters.